Hello everybody. We're back. Heading back out into nature. This time we're going to be on the Atlantic coastline. Yeah. And in true State Parker fashion, we forgot water. Welcome to another episode of State Parkers. We forgot something else. I forgot my hat. So you guys get to enjoy my rapidly balding head. <laughs> it's a brain eater. What's it doing? Nothing. It's starving to death. <laughs> See, I like to make her carry all the heavy stuff while I film the beautiful shot. Yes. The water in North Carolina is really hard, so we're looking for some lotion to get our ashy skin smoothed back out. Let's just pile you up with all the goods. Well, that's quite interesting. The veggie wagon. Homemade chicken pot pies. The sweet irony. That's a really nice tree with some cool hanging moss coming out of it. So I guess for the next hour, this is what we're doing. Just sitting in the parking lot of Dollar General, boring everybody to death. I happen to love it. And I love you. You're pretty okay, too. At least I'm pretty. I guess we have some time to kill. So we're gonna check out the visitor center. Yep. Apparently those are alive here in the park. Maybe we'll get to see some. Butterwort. You can go to Walgreens and fix that. Bladder wart. Okay, that one might need an urgent care facility. So she's gonna stamp our passport book. That just proves that we've been here. <laughs> Make sure you check out for Fisher State Recreation Area and they will stamp it up for you. Green anal. Anal. Oh my gosh. Here, for reference, hold that pine cone. That's a big pine cone. And that's a cute doggy. Yep. You're gonna be famous. Venus flytrap in the wild. That's Phoenix on the right over there. She was kind enough to show us and teach us about some of this carnivorous vegetation, which is really weird to me. Everything has a brain, I guess, or some type of conscience. Yep. Wild. It's all hungry. I've always wanted to own a Venus flytrap plant. I did when I was a kid. Well, my birthday's coming up. I used to catch bugs and put them in there. <laughs> my birthday's still coming up. Oh. Phoenix was a badass park staff member. For sure. I'm not gonna lie though. I was kind of hoping that the Venus flytraps would be like six feet tall. But no, they're like, Less than an inch. Tiny. But they get bigger. Mm -hmm. But not much. It's not even spring yet. Technically, it doesn't start till the 20th. Feed me, see more. I guess now we can go try to see if our campsite's ready. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go. They'll keep calling me until I come over. Well, this would be the marina near the marina store out beyond. That would be the intercoastal waterway that leads to the Atlantic Ocean. He's the guy that we were gonna come talk to to see if we're ready to check into our site yet. But he won't know. What, yeah, Will, what's your number? 24. We drove by it. Yeah, it's completely it. empty. Well, go for it. All right, thank you. Yeah. That was Greg. We're going for it. This is Taryn. Hi. Hello, Taryn. She's gonna check us into our campsite number 24. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are in a great spot. I'm so happy for cool. you. Me too, awesome. me too. There's gonna be a post. Awesome. Um, just attach that to the clip there. Okay. Other than that, I think you guys are good to go. Um, if you need fire, water, ice, or anything, we've got we got it. Down it. Here. We got it. We ready. came early, so. Good, good. <laughs> Thank um, you, Taryn. Absolutely. Y'all have a great time. We have come across an ancient technological relic. You don't see that very often. One time, when I was a kid riding my bicycle, I came across a payphone. This was the 90s. And I just thought it'd be a fun little gag to dial 911 and go hide. 
And sure enough, <laughs> the police tracked it down and came by, but they never found me because I am a ninja. And I picked him. And I'm also an asshole. <laughs> One more quick look at the marina they got over here. Makes me wish we had a boat. But you know what they say about boats. There's two good things about having a boat. Right, that's buying it the first day and then selling it. Tell that to the people who actually live on boats and marinas. I think they're living their best life. I don't know. I would get motion sickness. They dive for oysters. O oysters? oysters? We have oysters. They have oysters here. You're in North Carolina now. The word is oyster. Okay. Wow. I'm sure you guys are probably sick of seeing me slam that door. But we're on our way to our campsite, number 24. Parker Mobile, a.k.a. Lefty, is secured at our campsite. I don't always like blindly picking a spot, but I cannot lie to y'all. This is a good one. I think we got lucky on this one. It's very secluded, and the way we were able to park pretty much blocks us from view from anybody. It's pretty nice. We got our little campfire ring. We got a picnic table. I've got my wife. My wife! If we decide to put up a hammock or two, we can either go there to there, there to there, or there to there. This is a much softer ground for the tent rather than using the gravel. I know they want you to do that, but I don't know. Our tent's getting old. I don't want these sharp rocks to just chop through the bottom of it. Truth. Yeah. Truth. Hey, nice. Nice camping outfit there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best. Second best. Hey, that dude's just eager to get burnt. So from our, our last experience, we haven't really been able to air out our stuff that got soaking wet because it hasn't stopped raining. So I guess the only way to air out your gear is to go camping in it again. Yay! <laughs> I think our hammock straps are outdated. <laughs> they done expired. That's okay. At least it's not as bad as the ranch dressing in my mom's refrigerator. Cots are set up. Chairs are set up. Now I get to do the ceremonial filming while Melody does all the work setting our home up for the night. Are you going to do a tick check on my on my crevices in the morning? I will. You will not. I will. You'll be sleeping in. No, I won't. Looking forward to a sunrise, actually. Yeah, let's see if we can... Considering we slept in a dingy motel last night. Oh, I wouldn't say slept. We rolled and tossed and turned and sweated a lot. All right. Tent is done. I guess we're cowboy camping it tonight. Yep. <laughs> I know it looks like a mess now, but we'll tidy it up a little bit as we get going. Tent is set up for the most part over here. Melody's walking over with her hiking clothes. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to go hiking. Yeah, we are. It's time for coffee. The most important element on any natural adventure is coffee. That's the sound we're looking for. I just noticed something. What are you wearing here around your neck? It's a necklace that I made myself. And I do make guitar pick jewelry, necklaces, earrings, keychains. Working on a few different other things. Bracelets. Mm -hmm. If you would like to know more about that and place an order for something special for you, check out Melody Lee Designs on Google and Facebook and MySpace. You mean Instagram? Tom bought some. Are you comfy? Yeah. All right. Well, it's time to get up. We have coffee to drink and hiking to do. 
we're in this little camping circle here. So we're going to try to find our way to this blue point, which I guess is the campground trail. We're going to take it to the orange point, And I guess we're going to work our way counterclockwise along where the Cape Fear River kind of is. And then we'll work our way back to the swamp trail. And then I guess we'll hit the Sugarloaf Trail again. Come down, do that guy where the little blue diamond is. And then maybe keep going Sugarloaf all the way until we can traverse our way back this way on back to the campground trail and make our way back to camp. It always seems easy when you're looking at a map, but it's really not. End up doing three loops. Start starving to death. Famine. Dysentery. Is that why they put loop in the trail names? No, that's because most of the trails around here are named after Jorgensen Lupenheimen. He was a senator back in the Civil War. He died from Lyme disease. He should have put lemons in his tea instead. Pretty much the worst fire we've ever built. Not very structurally sound and not very hot. But I think the beautiful weather is trying to tell us that you didn't need to make a fire to begin with. We just do it to do it. Thousands of civilizations and beyond have spent countless hours staring at a fire. Not even for a reason, just because it's fun. It's really nice how the sunlight glistens off of these leaves. Yeah, nature, baby. This will be our home for the night. I don't even know if we're gonna need the rain fly, to be honest with you. It might get a little cool on us, but the trees will block the wind, and we've got that extra comforter. Truth. In case of snoring, I have my hammock. Yeah. Did you hear that? A pine cone almost fell on me and killed me. <laughs> that one, right there, just fell out of the tree, and look how it landed. Perfectly upright. Pine cone. A lot of you that have been watching our videos for all these years might start to notice that I start to have a southern drawl in my accent. And that's because I live in North Kakalaka. It only took five months. <laughs> All right, it's about hiking time. Suited up. Locked and loaded. And now we're hiking. We're going to start with the campground trail. We're going to head this way. All right, so our goal is the Sugarloaf. I don't know if that means it's 1.6 miles or if we have 1.6 miles to get to it, but either way, we're going. Right now we're walking through an area that was marked as a prescribed burn and you can still smell the burning trees. You can still, it actually smells really good. I love the smell of that pine. So far, this trail is really beautiful. Got all kinds of cool trees, magnolias, and pines, but it's really rooty, so we gotta keep our eyes on the ground so we don't trip and fall. I'm an idiot. That's my baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> Making fun of me. Well, watch out. So that trail led us back to the camp check-in and marina store. Luckily, there were restrooms, because we actually had to go. I mean, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Some really nice boats out here. This would be the boat ramp. Looks like it's a $7 launch fee. Kayak rentals. Good to know for future visits to this beautiful park. I do plan coming back here at some point. Yeah. Maybe doing the kayaks or something. I'd prefer if we had like three days though. This would be considered the intercoastal waterway that would lead the Cape Fear River into the Atlantic Ocean. Dude over there getting his fish on. Hope you're having some luck, bro.
It's also known as the cotton candy factory. <laughs> but it's hot dog flavored, so I'm not really sure I'm interested. Maybe next time. Look at that, that's pretty cool though. Even though it's mucky and gross, it's really cool looking. Gonna try to work our way along this sugarloaf trail that the uh, park staff recommended. If you're just gonna come here for a day, this is what they say to do. And tomorrow, we're gonna show you the beach. Beach! We are near the beach. You made that look a lot harder than it was. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ever be too careful, okay? The trail has turned to pure sand. And I really don't want it in my shoes, but whatever. Looks like we've come across a shelter of some sort. Man, I would actually sleep in that for an evening. It smells like egg out here. Yeah, it's really it's weird. My new home. Your new home? Yeah. yeah. I think it suits you. It's a fixer-upper. Needs a new roof. Yeah. Doggo. Something's burning. Sheriff Bandy. More like Sheriff Bunny. Got dirt on your face, dog. Oh wait, that's a bear. Get up in that dog! Get up in that dog! Get up in that dog! I'm gonna assume this is what they're referring to as the swamp trail. Because that is definitely swampy. Not to be confused with swamp butt, because we have body glide for that. Mm. When I used to ride dirt bikes, they called it monkey butt. Hi. Hey guys. Okay. How are y'all? This is a very popular trail. No wonder the park staff recommended it. That's what you can do in a day. But I feel like you could be here for 10 days and not see everything in this park. This place is gorgeous. I will say one thing about this beautiful state park. If you're new to hiking or you're a novice or an amateur, whatever, you're just out for the day, come out here. The trails are extremely well marked. Look, there's like signs everywhere. All of the intersections, all the trail crossings are very well marked. So it's impossible to get lost out here. I mean, don't take my word for it. Don't try this at home, try it outside. As tempting as it is, Oak Toe Trail seems promising. However, as said before, we don't feel good. So we have sinus infections and chest colds and stuff. We're going to go ahead and stay along the sugar loaf, work our way that way, make our way back to camp. Maybe we can get a good night's sleep so we can hit the beach tomorrow. Yeah. Our videos aren't as awesome as they used to be because I'm having to do the whole damn thing on my phone. My computer's out of commission right now and all of our cameras are broken. So not only do I have to film it on my phone, but I also have to edit it on my phone and that takes a while and it's not as fun. And that's why you haven't been hearing our State Parker soundtrack lately. I really just want to say thank you for hanging out with us lately. I know it can be a pain while we're getting back up on our feet, but we appreciate you. So. Hit that subscribe, give us a like, the bell thingy. The sign said beach. I don't see no damn beach. Where's the beach? I said beach, not pine cones just keep getting bigger and bigger. Look at that, that that's a size, I don't even wanna tell you my size of my foot, but that's a big ass pine cone. It's because the older you get, the shorter you get, and you already started short. I'm not the shortest person in my family, to be fair. I used to be when I was born. I don't think our jokes are landing very well today. <laughs> I think I think we kind of suck on the jokes stuff. Maybe we can come up with something new. Just wait. Yeah. For how long? They're getting impatient. 
that long. That was even worse. We suck. But wait. There's mole. I saw a tree. <laughs> tree. We come up with this shit on the fly. Just like flies on shit. That's even worse now. A little elevation change going on here now. Yeah. I guess we have now reached what they call the Sugarloaf Overlook. The Spanish hanging moss is beautiful in these trees. Somebody lost their spectacles. Oh, these are readers, not prescription. Tomorrow, should we swing by the lost and found at the office? Or should we just leave them here in case somebody comes back for them? I don't know. I don't know what to do in that situation. Actually, they are really good readers. There's a lot of opportunities for exploration. It leads down to like a little beach down there. And I guess the sun will be going down like that way but we won't be here for it. It's really windy. Look at your hair. Sometimes one of the best parts of doing these hikes is meeting random people on the trail. Absolutely. This is Tim. Hi, Tim. How, How you doing? doing? Yeah, name, man. What's your name again? My name's Clint. Clint. Well, tell you, Clint, this actually there used to be a railroad that ran from from here all the way out there about two miles and there you can see some of the if you see some of the real straight stretches that's where the old tracks used to be and this also used to be a confederate SA you know um, observatory for watching ships and stuff come up the fort during the Civil War we're all about history yeah we so love that that's just this this what we're standing on here now or the facsimile of that from uh, according to Tim it hasn't been a park for that long maybe about 20 yeah, years? 20, 25 years. I'm not, my name that long, but it's a short amount of time in all truthfulness. That's pretty crazy. They used to be, actually, all these trails out are just before wheeler trails and motorcycle trails until they outlawed them. Well, there goes Tim. That dude knows a lot about this place. He was very informative, and I appreciate that. Like I said, it's awesome to stop and talk to people on the trail sometimes. I know we come here to get away from people for the most part, but in like in our previous episode where we met Jack and Bentley, the dog, we would have had a much less fun time had we not met those two. about leaves the other day and I just noticed that pine needles are the same they don't touch they don't touch unless the wind's blowing them mm -hmm. because they don't want to take each other's nutrients <laughs> because they think and they have a conscience so I learned something about myself today I hold my breath when I'm taking pictures and also when Clint is taking pictures the reason we do that is because we are a tripod with walking legs and it makes us feel like we're more stable, I guess. So Phoenix, the park staffer that taught us about the Venus flytraps, said that she likes to do this trail on her lunch break. How long is your lunch break? We don't have much time left. No. That sun's going down. We will be back. You're gonna get your germs on it. <laughs> Boo. When's the last time you got to touch the top of a pine tree? I never will, cause I am too short. The white sand is really cool, but hiking through sand it's really is, is kind of difficult. <laughs> yeah, 
here's the orange blaze we're not far from the campsite i'm looking forward to oh yeah i'm looking forward to getting back to camp and just like relaxing for a little while yep we have a whole day of beach exploration tomorrow this is one of those areas that really makes us feel like we're not in texas anymore i know it's because we're not but Seriously, this is really different out here. North Carolina has some beautiful places to hike in, especially if you bring a loved one. Does that mean you love me? I was talking about Sheriff Bandy with his bunny ears. Yes, I love you. I just spotted something. Okay, here's the deal, folks. If you're hiking along the trail, sometimes you might find an activity guide. If you find one, you must do said activities. All right, activity number one. Plants. Venus flytrap. Check. We did that. Yep. Activity guides on the trail might also be known as litter. So if you see litter and you have room in your pack, just go grab it and pack it out and throw it away. It helps the ecosystem. And if the park rangers watch your video, if you're making a video, they're really going to appreciate that you did that. But this isn't trash. I actually want to do these. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you got something to do around the campfire tonight. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Lyme disease. <laughs> Campground, 0.3 miles. We're almost there. How do we always manage to do this when we're sick and stuff? I think it's because we're badass mofos. I mean, if you go check out earlier episodes, you'll see that I've hiked with a broken ankle. You hiked old Baldy at Garner State Park, which is no joke. Hey, look, there's a car. That means we're almost to the campsite. Maybe tonight the campfire will blow into our face mm -hmm. and just completely annihilate the sinus congestion and all of that. We're gonna smell weird. And I say, I say we don't even wash our clothes before we go to work on Wednesday. <laughs> I say we just wear the same clothes we went hiking in and just make people wonder if we're barbecuing or something. <laughs> Are you looking forward to get back to camp and oh, chilling out? Them. Why are you tripping, dog? Why are you tripping? Hey, now we're crossing the road. But I will say this. It's not a proper hike if you don't trip over something. Nah. I did. Now you did. You always have to copy me. <laughs> Easter is on its way. Campground. That way. Looks like we made it. Nope, oh, wait. No copyright. I would say that was a successful hike. I would think so. We did 4.9 miles, almost five. We'll pick up for it tomorrow on the beach, near the beach. Now I get to do my favorite thing, and that is starting a fire. A good fire. Yeah. Not like that piddly, winkly thing we had earlier when we were just doing it just to do it. Truth. We're going to use this tonight. Yeah, it works. Those are the little fire starters we bought at the marina shop. Yep, and soon we're going to have more canned ham. <laughs> Again? Again. Oh, God. I mean... I'm okay with that. I mean, it doesn't taste bad, but I am going to burn out. If we keep doing this every single week... Guess we'll go back to bacon? I do miss bacon. At any rate, we're back at the campsite now. We got a nice little fire starting here. That'll go on through the evening, because it's still only like... Six o'clock. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Wow, I lose track of time when I'm having a good time on the trail. That's a good thing. I'm not gonna lie, the recent time change with this daylight savings mumbo jumbo really has me messed up. It does it to me every year, but this year, in particular, seems to be affecting me the worst. Maybe it's because I have a sinus infection. I think you're just a wimp. Yeah. <laughs> Little Miss Sniffle. 
what's for dinner tonight? Well, cooked ham, beanie weenies, Vienna sausage, hot and spicy. So what you're saying is we're going back to our childhoods, which cost us quite a bit of money. Hmm. Funny how when we were kids, all we wanted to do was grow up. We're not going to film ourselves eating. It's kind of gross because you get that sound and I don't think you want to hear that. But you just did it anyway. It's beanie weenies and Vienna sausage. And ham. Canned ham. All the canned ham. Nasty. Mm. Tastes better outside. Truth. When I was a kid growing up, I used to love the beanie weenies. Fan camps. Beanie weenies. And I tried them tonight for the first time in decades. And I must say, uh-uh. Nope. Regardless of how bad our dinner was, that's a nice fire you got there, baby. All in all, it's been a wonderful day of adventure, hiking, a little bit of sickness. My Zyrtec is wearing off. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. We're going, We're, going going to the beach. Beach. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. We're going to the beach. Ooh. Wow, we suck. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for our first day out here at Carolina Beach State Park. Here's the tent. This will be our bed for the night. We've opted out of doing the rain fly tonight. I don't think it's going to get that cold. Although... Melody looks like she's pretty cold. <laughs> but we, hey, we have a beautiful fire going on. And we're going to sit here and wait for that log to burn in half so we have some good wood for the morning. Have a good night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. And it's shaping up to be a nice one. Sun's coming up. Got a fire going over there. Coffee. Although I'm extremely sad. My favorite piece of camping gear that I've ever owned finally kicked the bucket last night. Damn it. Melody is still asleep in the tent. We're going to let her be for a little while. Beautiful day upon us. We're going to head to the beach. Well, look who finally decided to join us. Hello. Hello. We camped over there last night. Everything's pretty much broken down. Just gotta put that bag away and close the truck. The damn raccoons spilled something all over our table. Got my shirt all dirty that was sitting there. Causing Sheriff Bandy and the bunny ears to hit the floor. Get all gunky. But they couldn't access our tuna creations. So that's a win for us. Bloom. I guess the last bit is to take the trash to the nearest dump site. Yep. Until the next time, campsite 24. Pack it out. <laughs> All right, let's go to the beach. Well, according to Caroline at the store here, uh, she says that Fort Fisher's where it's at. So I guess if we only have one day to spend on the beach. That's where she said we should go. Going to the beach. Sue. They say you can see sea turtles. And lots of water. Yay, water. Well, that was a nice drive. We are here at Fort Fisher. I guess we're going to check it out. It already looks cool just from the parking spot. I believe yesterday we did mention that we're both kind of under the weather. We're, we're, we're a bit sick on this trip. Melody's applying some lotion to her chapped skin all over her face. <laughs> the water here in North Carolina is really hard and I think your skin is so sensitive to it that it makes you kind of get crusty and ashy. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. I'm glad I have a beard. I was thinking about growing one. Don't ask me to help you maintain it because I'm obviously not good at that. You looking good, sister. We're at the beach. We're at the beach. 
We are at the beach. I don't see no damn beach. And just like yesterday, something's on fire. I'm sorry, I'll close my legs. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Cherries. Ooh. Hey. Looks like they're doing some renovations. Those guys are working hard and long. That's what she said. We're only about 20 yards from the car and already the trees are incredible. They're like giant bonsai trees. Bonsai tree. Okay, Miyagi Do Karate. Wax off. Pelicans. Anchors. It's amazing how hiking makes you think about video games sometimes. Valheim. Yay, Valheim. And Lyme disease. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. He's heating up. NBA Jam. That's a 32 pounder. That's some big balls. We've come to the visitor center. We are going to follow the rules. Although I really wish I could take my shirt off. Nobody wants any part of that. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Evidently all of this stuff happened at this very location. Historical greatness, this is awesome. I didn't know they had mannequins in World War I. The people during this time were very small. As small as you? Almost. Hmm. Well, that just looks horrific. Man, see what I'm saying about the tiny people? It's like Gulliver's Travels. Some of the soldiers had no heads, but they still wore hats. All right, so we're gonna yeah, get another stamp. stamp. Would you like it there or where would you like it? Right? Wherever you wanna put That's it. That's fine. I'm not even mad. <laughs> That's a good looking stamp right there. Ooh. It feels. Thank you guys. You, we you can know, actually, can feel we can the feel the history here. Um, it's a weird feeling, but we love it. We get that a lot. I'm sure Mario would appreciate that one. ba -boom. Okay, that was, I, I have to admit, that was a very creepy, weird sensation in there. It wasn't the people, it was the vibe. Yeah. And there was a particular odor that I've never smelled in my life before. It's not bad. It's not, we're not saying it stinks. It's just there was a smell about it that made me associate with war. I don't know. Not gunpowder. No. Something was, different. Uh, we got our stamp, so now it's time to wander. Look. Well, looky there. I knew I liked this place for a reason. I don't know if I like it enough. It's really creepy. <laughs> it is, actually. This is the one new piece of wood that they placed here since the Civil War. One. Doubt it. Hmm. Might have happened in Desert Storm. 36th North Carolina. See? There's 36 North Carolinas and we're at the 36th version of it. I always knew there was a multiverse. As much as I want these to be like literally from that era, 
I'm gonna go ahead and say that they were recreated for the sake of this land for tourists like us. But I just found something. You most certainly did. Good eye there, sister. I mean, wife. Okay, that sounds weird. It's locked. Knock on it, see if anybody's in there. I'm scared, actually. You, know, you, you don't want to unleash the bowels of hell on Earth. Here we go, though. The right. Necronomicon is hidden in that, in that door. It looks like claw marks from people trying to get in. In. <laughs> Why? Are we in an episode of Lost? That was a great show. Right until about season four is when I fell off, when they did the time travel thing. Which is weird that I would say that, because right now, we literally feel like we're traveling through time. This is crazy. You can really feel the war and the battle and the death out here and it might sound weird but you can smell it too you can it's there's a weird odor and not just fresh paint <laughs> dude those look like like they're like real sandbags wow man i'm certain that that cannon might be authentic but it looks like it was restored that lady looks like she's been restored <laughs> i mean technically i have yeah. the cannon is called loud paul they used to shoot little children out of that cannon <laughs> they just yeah cannon. all you gotta do is you, you load them in light the fuse fire. off they go <laughs> so yeah, the sign clearly says get off the cannon. However, at that point, when they're having that much fun, those kids deserve to be able to get up on that cannon, raise their hands and say, yay! And now they might be in a YouTube video. Please don't get them in trouble. See, I knew it, man. The original sandbags are up there. Well, a few of them anyways. And that's the little section we were just at. This place is insanely cool. And honestly... A little bit, a lot. It's it's scary. It is. It's freakish. Yeah. Because a lot of death happened here. I mean, you can feel it, you can smell it, you can see it. I know what death smells like. No, you don't. I saw my grandmother when she was dead, and she smelled like lotion. I'm getting really hungry, and it's really early in the day. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. One thing I am, only. Yeah, one thing only. I'm not eating tuna. <laughs> also. I have one more thing. Two things only. Okay. I'm not eating Vienna sausage. I'm not eating anything. Three things. I'm not eating anything in my backpack right now. I want a cheeseburger or a chicken fried steak or maybe even a taco. It is Tuesday. One last view of the Cape Fear, which is at the confluence of the ocean. It's been a big influence to me. <laughs> Uh, a, an inf... What? I don't think you heard me right. Oh. It's a confluence. That means you merge with something. Oh. That is influential. Couples goals. That is one gigantic tree. Now, disease. Now you know that trees are hateful. They don't need love. That's not true. You're gonna get a tick in your undercarriage. I love him. Mm. Ticks or trees? Both. Ew. Yeah. You know there's a disease you can get from ticks. This is a true story that makes you completely unable to eat any kind of meat product that's not chicken or fish. Mm. You don't want that. I like vegetables. Yeah, well I want burgers. We'll camp here for the night. I never realized there was an ocean in the 1800s.
Roger keep off rocks. It sucks. I mean, I get it, but I so badly want to go out there. But we're going to play it safe. Beautiful. <laughs> we're at the edge of the world. And in North Carolina, no less. This is way prettier than Galveston, I'll tell you that much. Oh, much prettier. Oh my god. <laughs> You know it's gonna be a good day when your wife just won't stop smiling. I'm guessing those are pelicans. Looks like a little family having a good time at the beach. With any luck, this family behind us won't end up on Mr. Ballin. <laughs> Somebody didn't do their doo doo diligence. I'm not reporting. Not until after we eat. Then I'm gonna return the food. I just won't return it back to the restaurant and I got it. There they go. Flapping along. Good old pelicans. Living their best life. I'm gonna have to say boo. Overlook is closed. Well, I mean, I guess they figure that humans can't traverse that devastating mishap. What do we do now? The bench. That bench has been here since the Battle of 1812. Just like those condos. It looks like you can make it all the way down to the actual beach part without stepping on a single rock. Let's see if we can pull it off. Yeah, there's my shadow. All right, no rocks. I'm on sand. This one's a little bit tricky. Got to work around. I'm, I'm a little bit on a rock, but no, I'm over it. And now we keep going. I'm not on the rocks. I'm in the sand. There we go. We did it. We're not going to get in trouble. We're not gonna get in trouble. We're going to the beach. We're we going to the, the beach. beach. What? We're going to the beach. What? We're, We're going. at the beach. We made it to the beach. We need to work that song out. Yeah. Yeah, we keep singing over each other. <laughs> That's a real Atlantic Ocean right there. That's what I grew up on. You grew up? I tried to. How? Why didn't I? In the words of the famous Stephen Wright, there's a fine line between fishing and standing on the shore like an idiot. Well, I wanted to sit down there where we were legal, but Melody didn't want to sit in the sand. So we went to the beach and now we're not there anymore. That's crap, it's right there. That's too far. I'm just kidding. We're gonna sit here on this bench and charge up our devices for a little bit and then find out what the next part of our day is gonna be. We have one day here, so we're gonna try to make the best of it. And then we gotta drive two hours back to Goldsboro tonight. So hang in there with us. It's been a pretty fun adventure so far. We'll see what we can get into after this. We're done with this little bench sitting adventure. There's the beach. We made it to the beach. Texas would be embarrassed by your puny little cactus. Nice try, North Carolina. I'm gonna score a win. Carolina Beach or Cure Beach whatever they call this particular area this was really nice it's just so tranquil and it's not spring break so it's like empty this is why we do this on Mondays and Tuesdays and not on the weekends pro tip weekdays better this place is amazing if you haven't checked it out before I highly recommend it We met her. 
Her name is Danielle, and she gave us some really cool other places to go in the future. Hi, Danielle. Looking good. Staying strong. Thanks for being on our video. And with that, we're done with Fort Fisher. You're beautiful. She says I'm beautiful. I don't believe it. But I'll tell you what, we're at Jack Mackerel's. Are we sure this is where we want to go? We, we, how would we know? I mean, I don't know. The fitness lady, not the one that we just saw, but a different fitness lady, just showed up in the parking lot. Yep. And it's a full parking lot. Yep. So it must be pretty good. At least she's pretty good. Woo. I mean, she is good looking. Check her out. <laughs> nope, that's that's not her. That's a different lady. That's mom. That's that's her mom. That's grandma. <laughs> and then that's her sister. And that's her niece. And that's her that great you? granddad. No, but no, the one we're talking about is right there. See, that's a good looking lady right there. Today's been good. Yeah. Yesterday was good. Yep. Let's go eat. Why? Thank you. Jack Mackerels. Welcome to Jack's. That's Josie. She works here. She met us very welcome. And it is Tuesday, so we might get some tacos, but I'm not 100% sure about that. What do you think? I want all of it. We're going to need to start a new Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to the beverages. Although, there's many beverages. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that, and I also want that. Seems like a pretty popular spot for lunch. It's only Tuesday, so it's not like it's a weekend. But Josie over here is a great salesperson. She's talked us into getting all of the divine ingredients and elements, which we cannot afford, but we will pay for it. We got this. Once again, we got some of that dangling. It's called yingling. It was an East Coast thing until it made its way to Texas, but we're not in Texas anymore, Toto. So you got, what did you get? Scrims. Shrimp. A side of scallops. And we got the clam chowder with scallops. Beautiful potato chips. And I got cat. We can't go anywhere without making friends. Truth. The, the grumpy old men. <laughs> <laughs> That one's Walter Matthau. Who's the other guy? Who was that other guy? Oh, I can't remember. And uh, Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon. Yep. State Parkers. State Parkers. This is Josie once again. If you're going to come to Jack Mackerel's, make sure you come when she's working. Because she is the best in the world. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. All right. I feel like I ate the whole restaurant. <laughs> Me too, actually. <laughs> okay, another door slamming segment. We are off to go just find a random spot on the beach where we can just park and just kind of walk, burn off some of these calories. How do you feel? Sleepy? Yeah, uh, yeah, me too. Hey, I see Melody over there. <laughs> you want some sand? My offering to you. I give you the Atlantic Ocean. It's very windy and very beachy. It's not quite spring yet, so we're not gonna go swimming. Sitting on the beach ain't gonna burn the calories that we just ingested. So let's go for a let's go for a short walk. You can tell the tide's out right now, but it's coming in. I can tell because every 30 seconds, the water comes closer to my feet. What did I marry? Ace Ventura.
right, that's pretty insane. What do you think caused that? They say it's spring break, but I don't see much spring breaking going on. It's not even spring yet. That's the beach, as they call it. <laughs> I didn't see no whales. No. Didn't see any dolphins. Although, you're kind of like a dolphin to me because dolphins are pretty. I love how they have a swimming pool right next to the largest swimming pool in the world. That's how the little kids don't drown. They can still drown. Mm. Mm. Let's hope they don't. Please, learn how to swim. The moment you've all been waiting for. Another closing the door segment. Two for one. <laughs> and wow, does it smell like seafood in here. It does. Holy good. We really appreciate you coming out on this adventure with us. Look forward to the next one. And don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, hit the bell. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 yeah. Get out and go camping. Woo! Until the next time. Bye-bye.